Hello everyone, it's Christmas Eve and today is 10 days since I filled my 90 gallon tank. Uh, a lot has changed since the last video. Um, as you can see, the water is clear now. However, I do have diatoms everywhere. If you look at the sand, it's pretty ugly. Definitely having a nice little diatom bloom right now. Um, I didn't really get to show you much in the way of my rocks, but uh, this one in particular I think is very interesting because he's got tons of algae growing on him and maybe some sort of type of seaweed. So that's pretty cool. Um, it definitely didn't really become apparent until I started running the lights and everything in the tank and uh, they had been in here for a few days. Those are both pieces of live rock. You can see they have lots of life on them versus the stuff I made, which it just has diatoms on it right now. Um, as far as other changes in the tank, I added one power head. It's a Corellia Evolution 1400. Um, when I first turned that sucker on, it created so much debris in the tank, just the stuff that had settled on the rocks over the past week so I'm really happy with that so far and I plan to add another one on the opposite side of the tank I just stepped on the dog there a little bit that was that grunting noise if you heard that um what else let's see oh and I have to warn you we're gonna go down to the sump and I still have my <laughs> lack of electrical safety going on right now I haven't organized the cords yet so forgive me for that but down to the sump you can see I added a protein skimmer. It is a SWC uh, 160 cone. Uh, it's doing a good job so far. I know there's not a whole lot of you know bio load in the tank yet, but it's definitely pulling a light colored skimmate just I think from the die off from the live rocks, things like that. Um, I also put a light over my refugium. It's off right now, but go ahead and illuminate it for a second. Um, I added a little ball of Cheeto, um, which was kind of nice because it came with lots of little life on it. It had tons of um, amphipods. It had some little tiny white brittle stars. Um, and, you know, so I'm introducing those to my tank. Uh, also, as far as life goes, I have started seeing copepods as well all over the tank. Um, they're all over the refugium here. Let me turn this light off. And they're all over the display tank as well. I doubt I could capture any right now since the lights have been on for a while. I think they are kind of hiding, but especially in the morning when I first turn the lights on, um, those, I can see them, you know, barely with my naked eye. Um, so definitely seeing some copepods so those should really start taking off um, and that's about it like I said it's 10 days in um, you know things are progressing about as I would expect um, I'm I do have a nitrite spike right now um, I haven't done a test today but the past two days uh, the nitrites have been at 1.0 parts per million I uh, haven't really been testing the nitrates yet. I, I did test them once and I had 10 parts per million or something like that, but I'm uh, not going to test them again until my nitrites go away. Um, I put in a piece of shrimp uh, just to, you know, feed the uh, cycle a little bit. Um, I put one in when I first started the tank. Uh, it's pretty much all the way gone by now, so I added another one the other day just to, you know, keep fueling it. So, seems uh, seems to be working so far. I think I'm, you know, a few days out from being able to add maybe a couple snails or something like that to eat some of this algae. I don't want to add too many because I do want the pod population to increase. So I don't want the... Uh, cleanup crew to take care of all the algae just yet but I'll definitely uh, keep you posted post and I'll post another video when uh, when I add some 
real livestock to the tank. So hope everyone's having a good holiday season. Um, see you next time.